on, still work. Irma, gotta wait. Come on, Kian. Tanya McCluskey trains German Shepherd working dogs. Their lives revolve around work. And they love it. I mean, you can tell by all the barking that's going on. Pick me, pick me. When are we next? How come he's going first? The dog's training could lead to finding lost children, tracking criminals, sniffing out illegal drugs or explosives. They're loyal companions. These are very specific dogs doing specific things. Tanya owns seven adult dogs. She currently has several puppies. This is Norris, my stud dog. As she takes Norris through an obedience routine, you'd never know that Tanya can't see the dog. Tanya's been blind since birth. Never known any different. My parents never said, no, you're blind, you can't do that. If I wanted to ski, we went skiing. If I wanted to ride horses, we rode horses. She used to train thoroughbred horses. She knew the horse's body language from touch. Very seldom got bucked off because I knew three seconds before the horse started bucking that it was gonna probably do that. It's much the same with her German Shepherds. I do find the same thing in a dog, especially Le if I'm working on leash because I can feel through the leash. But when she lets the dog off leash, the training can become more difficult. When the dog's 50 feet away and I can't see him, is he doing what I asked him to do? Is he doing what I expect that he's doing? That's where Tanya's sighted training partner, Tori Swan, comes in. What Tori and I have been working on is when the leash is off and I don't have that connection. Maybe helping her recognize that, you know, when you hear them doing this behavior, that looks like this. So maybe putting the picture together. The women work as a team. Yeah, absolutely. She has a, a feel for the dogs and an uncanny ability to hear and recognize their, their different behaviors ah. through that feel and you know, audio, um, the way their, their breathing is, and even their footsteps. Tori says working with Tanya has enhanced her own professional skills. Um, we communicate a little bit differently, but I've learned a ton about my own dog training through her different perception. You might think with so many German Shepherds, one of them would be Tanya's seeing eye dog. Mm -hmm. I would qualify for one. I could get one in a heartbeat, but I would feel bad not working it to its full potential when somebody else could use it. Tanya spends almost all her time at home or in the kennels, and she knows every inch of her space. Besides, her first working dog, Irma, is especially good at watching out. She does very naturally guide me around things, but she's never been taught to do it. She just, she kind of knows to do it. Tanya says German Shepherd working dogs aren't for everybody. Oh, I want a German Shepherd. Well, what do you want to do with it? Well, I just want to, I want to go for walks and I live in a condo. Sorry, not one of these, you don't want one. They're highly energetic with superior intelligence, but if not properly trained, that combination can be too much dog for many people. What are we waiting for, they ask? Let's go to work. When we come back, see how the pros do it. Tanya's dogs come from Eastern Europe. In our military venues here, they go to Eastern Europe to get dogs because they're just the acknowledged best of the best. Most of the dogs don't know English. That. Norris only responds to commands in Czech. Zustan. Norris practices barking and holding. It's an exercise to restrain a suspect. Okay. Kian practices obstacle work. It teaches the dog to walk on different surfaces at different heights. There's unstable obstacles, there's ladders that they've got to pay attention to where they put their feet. It requires absolute trust between dog and handler. The bond between Tanya and Kian is intense. For every task successfully completed, there's a reward. You have to know what makes that dog tick to get the best performance out of him. You have to know what does he want to work for food? Does he want to work for a certain ball? Does he want to work for his tug toy? Drago is a young male from Tanya's breeding program. Tori rubs her scent on Drago's favorite ball and hides it. Okay. 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 Nice. Yeah, good boy. Yes, nice Hi. job. That ball could have been a lost child, an escaped convict, maybe a bomb. Because he's still green, Tanya keeps a leash on Drago. But Nexie's a veteran. She doesn't need a leash. Tori hides a canister with scent inside. Are you gonna, gonna, gonna find more? 
Are you gonna, 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 gonna find more? Notice how you after are. finding the scent, Nexie looks to Tanya for approval and her ball. Yes, good girl. When Nexie isn't working, she's caring for her yeah. new puppy. But Tanya's there to help. Yeah. She sleeps with all the litters. My cot's right there. I sleep with them every night. What? Every dog, says Tanya, has their own personality. Oh, yeah. They're, they're just as individual as people are. Kara is the first German Shepherd yeah. Tanya acquired. For Kara, her looks and charm are enough. Work? Me? I don't think so. Kira's the princess. She watched everybody else work and says, yeah, you're doing a great job. Glad it's not me. Tanya says being blind has never been an obstacle to setting goals and working to achieve them. The only thing I never did learn how to do, and I wanted to, but I couldn't figure it out, was water ski. Not meant to walk on water. But her dogs think she does. Oh, hey. Nice. Hey, hey, hey. Look at that. They're all working and having fun doing it. Kevin Mackey, NBC, Montana.